everyone of on crispy spring rolls the most popular and expensive or crab spring rolls and they are in traditional square shape but you don't need to go to restaurant you can make at home welcome to Saigon Cook Travel the full recipe in the description box below this is from the north mostly originated in Haiphong province so they yield bean sprout in the stuffing behind that chikama mushroom shiitake mushroom woody mushroom carrots green onion and on others uh, aromatics so um, peel jacama peel carrots and chop them small you want every ingredients mingon mixing together so that I'm doing and, and finish for wood chakama and now I'm doing the carrots. Here the vermicelli I already soaked. Now we go to cooking. First I saute here garlic and shallot and green onion and then the onion, the white or yellow onion. The purpose of uh, sauteing is to get the water out of the stuffing. So when on in the skillet is fragrant, I add the chakama, carrot, you can see I use the high heat here and uh, very quickly saute. I just want to remove as much as liquid water inside of them, not really cook them. I want the crunch. So I put in wood ear, I would put in shiitake mushroom and that's it. Now the vermicelli, uh, you need one. In the bucket, when you buy, there are many bunches. So you just get one bunch. So I mix the saute ingredients. Remember to let them cool before you add them, them on together. Beside the saute mush things I have uh, bean sprout green onion an egg vermicelli yeah, so now I am adding this uh, seasoning oyster sauce uh, fish sauce sugars uh, black pepper and uh, in this um, seasoning I use one tablespoon of tempura butter if you don't have tempura butter you can use a uh, fried fish uh, flour or crispy uh, flour for frying that We'll add um, the powder will help to reduce the liquid more further. So um, I broke one egg here because the egg will bind uh, all of them together. And uh, the meat you mince by hand or you can uh, pounce mince them by the food processor and that's it you all mix up all your ingredients now the crab i left separate because i don't want 
the chunk I want to keep the chunk of crab intact notice that I bought the uh, crab meat in the can this is the best one I think because this crab is tender and sweet so I use one tablespoon of flour with one tablespoon of water to make glue for uh, gluing the wrappers together because they stuff in fairly big and I need two pieces of wrapper uh, you notice that I use this kind of wrapper very thin and it will make the spring roll very crispy uh, when it's done so I use glue flour glue to glue two pieces together and uh, first I scoop on the mixture the stuffing mixture that I did earlier this one will be a big one so and square one that a traditional shape so when you see squares crispy spring rolls you will know that you are into something special crispy spring rolls now after i'm happy with the shape of the um, stuffing i spoon um, the crab meat on top of it so that uh, the crab meat not mushy or become uh, small i want still crab meat still vision when you cut the spring roll so i just go down and i blow some more at the end so that my rolls will stay intact that's it there is no wrong uh, or right of um, wrapping them. You just go uh, what you design. So now in the skillet, uh, no, in the pot, I use the small pot that fit one spring drawn at a time. I fried one side and flip over the to the other side about two minutes each one and uh, i remove them and i will uh, fry them the second time after they cool about 15 minutes the second time frying will make your spring roll extra crispy now to eat with that in vietnam they eat with um, rice and vermicelli uh, vegetables but in the u.s <clears throat> for american they like to eat with the sauce so i do mayonnaise together with <clears throat> chili sauce to eat this you need to cut each spring roll into a uh, four because they eat pretty big and that is the way uh, they are serving. I remember when I was in Vietnam visiting, my sister took me to the store that CNN people rated this that store the best. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.